Hey friends and family, welcome to Marcy Creates. This is Marcy. And tonight, I thought we'd make a beautiful piece of jewelry or two with the Dee Dee's Deluxe Bead Box for September. It's gorgeous. I didn't do, get to do an unboxing, but I'm sure that you've seen one. If not, I will go over the items. As you can see, beautiful colors. And the theme for September is Encanto uh, by the movie. And uh, Stella puts in the, of course, all the items that are in the box. And she says, we did it again, folks. This time I asked our little Dee Dee, my granddaughter, to pick one of her favorite Disney musical films. She chose Encanto. Why Encanto, I asked. She answered, because it's magical. <laughs> and um, these colors are magical, so I'm very excited to uh, work with them. I've been itching to get to this one. Um, so I'm just really quick gonna go through what we have here. And then I thought we'd do maybe a pair of earrings. And then I have, I have another little surprise up my sleeve. Uh, something I haven't done on here before. Um, and so I wanted to do something a little different. Well, you'll see what that is here in a minute. But let's just take a look. So right now we have this Inspire Check Strand. I wanted to leave it intact before I made anything, but as you can see, luscious colors, beautiful check beads. I love these rectangular beads, they're really cool. And then of course the flowers and bead caps. You got rondelles, more bead caps. Love that feather look to that check bead and so on and so forth. We have yummy, yummy rondelles that are so sparkly, both in kind of a cranberry color and then a bunch of different colors. So that's gonna be fun. We have some beautiful leaves with the gold finish, some beautiful porcelain. I think these are purple pansies porcelain beads and these little guys these little green apple green actually they're mystic chartreuse but look at this I was going through my my seed beads because I might use them how perfect is that color with this can you can you even stand it <laughs> I was like wow that was meant to be so we may use some of these tonight we have some beautiful cornflower blue rondelles. These made me gasp. They're gorgeous. Look at those. Oops, there goes my paper. Uh, kind of a bowling pin shape. That's the fanciest bowling pin I've ever seen. And then um, these guys. These are beautiful, these lucite, lucite pieces. Ginger, you okay, baby? She's over there choking, I don't know why. You're not eating anything, are you okay? <laughs> She's just looking at me like, keep doing your video, mama. Okay, I will. But it, this kind of looks like a guitar pick to me, doesn't it? But I really love the teardrop shape and that's, I gotta play with these. Then we have some beautiful blue I don't even know what color you'd call this probably like a grayish blue or a midnight light blue and I love these noodles I've always wanted to play with these and I love that they're curvy I have not played with those before then we have I think that this is let's see it's a gemstone um Cherry pink, brushated jasper. Isn't that pretty? Oh, and of course, cube cube beads. This is more of a gray blue. Love those. And then these guys are really cool also. With the little gold on the end. So beautiful, beautiful selection. Oh, we also have these yellow kind of barrel beads with the, it's shiny on the end. I mean, shiny in the middle, but textured on the end. Those are neat. Absolutely beautiful focal piece. And I love these chandelier findings. 
definitely want to play with those. And then some beautiful, kind of a neutral barrel bead also. And then I just grabbed some bead uh, crimp covers and some very small, these have the beaded and um, uh, what size are these? Hang on just a minute. Let me get up my ruler. I think they're, well, they're half, three quarters of an inch. No, not just over half an inch ball head pins. Um, because I thought I might take some of these little guys and make a bunch of dangles like this, this one that I did here. And then I got some long head pins. So I, again, I don't know what I'm doing quite yet. I have an idea, but then I have some soft flex metallics. This is the brass, which will go great with our findings. And I also pulled this tanzanite color because it looked really pretty with these blues. So we may use that. In fact, I think the first project of the night will be this. So um, I'm gonna get started. As you can see, I kind of pulled some things and I was playing around with some ideas, but I think I definitely wanna play with those noodles. I guess you call them noodle beads. What does she call them? Uh, I'm looking, I'm looking. Bronze, cornflower, magical crystal mix. That's what that all those mixes are. Twisted gold plated beading tubes. I'm going to call them noodles. They kind of look like pool noodles to me. <laughs> Anyway, um, yeah, and these, oh, definitely have to use those. And I'm probably gonna use something from this strand. Let me, let me make this more accessible. Hope y'all are having a good week. It's almost over, isn't it? Friday, it's Friday Eve. My week blew by. It's been super busy. But that's a good thing. Oh, I didn't realize there were some bead caps. These are pretty. Let me put those over here. We're gonna save that. So as you can see over here, I was laying some stuff out. My thought was to put one of these noodle guys kind of sideways and hang the, um, I, I don't know if it's gonna work or not. We're gonna try it. I'm gonna hang that there and then have a whole bunch of like look like they're hanging off of this little dangles and then take this beading wire and go up with my um, my other beads and I was playing around with the colors I was trying to grab as much color as possible honestly and I was stuck kind of like right here so I wasn't really that excited about the the barrel beads. I think they'll be really pretty in a necklace, but I didn't want to do that. So my thought was either this, which I think might be, that might not work, or maybe one of these blue beads, or we use this really pretty, I kind of like Actually, I like that because it mirrors this. I think we'll do that. And maybe I'll use the bead caps with that. Oh, you know what though? I, may, I better make sure I have enough because we gotta make two of these. Uh, maybe I'll do a small one on the top and a big one on the bottom. That's what we'll do. Uh, where's the other little one? I'm gonna put these to the side so I don't run out of bead caps. So we're just gonna move these guys over. This, I love this color. It's got an AB finish too, which is really fun. And then of course, all these little beads are so cute. 
it picks up all the colors in this lucite piece so um and then my other thought was to use that but i think i like this better so we're going to keep these we'll put these over here all right and i don't know in the second uh thing i want to do tonight we're probably going to use these but not for this not for the earrings so really uh let me think what order I want to do this in. I think we better make some dangles first. Uh, I've got one here. I was thinking six. I hadn't picked out the colors yet. I think between the two pairs of earrings, I'll pro probably change up the colors a little because that adds visual interest. I mean, they're going to be, they're going to kind of read the same, but they're not going to look exact. So, I think I want to go ahead and make these dangles. Let's do that. That bent one's not going to work. And all I did with this little guy, if you can see, I just made a simple loop. I'm not going to do a wrap loop for these. Let me scoot up so I don't... This is right on the edge of something. I don't want the beads to go flying. So, whoops, hello. What did I say? I didn't want beads to go flying. <laughs> Do head pins count? I don't know. All right. So I've just been hanging on to them and then, because they're short, they're a little bit um, challenging. Let me see if I can hang on to this while I bend over. There we go. I'm going to do a bunch of these. Oh. How many did I say? Six? I think six is good. It's weird because some of these um, head pins are easier to bend than others. And they all came in the same package. Have you ever had that happen to you? <laughs> Like, not very consistent. But if you can do it with your fingers, I say go for it. I kind of had a little bit of trouble. That one was easier. Some of them are not easy, so then maybe you could hang on to it with your um, needle nose, flat nose pliers, your slim ones. One more. Cool. All right, so now we're gonna, I just wanna trim just a tiny bit off of here. Not much, but a skosh. Pretty much, this would be half an inch once I, this is a little extra bit, I think, that hung over that half inch mark. Grab my round nose. And I'm just gonna make a simple loop. Let me straighten that up. There we go. So I got a couple more to make here. Shouldn't take too long. I think I'll cut all of these. When I have a bunch of things to make, I think I've mentioned this before, I like to do a little assembly line. And so I'll just cut off the little ends first. And then we will make the loops. I think that I might have made that one too short. We're about to find out. Yeah, I've got um, a lot of boxes to go through and do projects with, so a bunch of videos coming your way. Tonight's video is this beautiful box, uh, Dee Dee's online shop, their deluxe mystery box. I still have Sam's uh, mid-century modern box. 
what else do I have? A, a couple of Softlex kits. Um, there was a Safari one. They had a they had a live Zoom, and I keep missing them. But I really want to go to one, uh, the live Zoom party with the Safari mix last night. But I was still working, so I couldn't make it. But I do want to join one of those Zoom. You know, get on their mailing list and buy their. If you get their uh, mystery box, their kits, you get invited to their Zoom parties when they make stuff. I'm going to redo this one because I made it too small. I don't think these these particular um, head pins were that that pricey, so I don't really mind if I have to use another one. This one felt like it was going to give me trouble, but maybe not. All right. That works. Yeah, I'm kind of excited. To this The second thing I'm making tonight, uh, I've seen things like it online, but I've never actually played with it. So I did a little Amazon order for the piece we're going to use. You'll see what I'm talking about once I get to that part of the video. So don't go away. Hopefully it's something new you haven't seen. Well, you've probably seen something, but I, and I know I haven't done it on my channel, so. I know you must be intrigued. <laughs> okay, so we have our dangles. And we have our drop. And let me think, let me think. Maybe I will use one of these right here. So let me make a little wire wrap, wrap loop. I'm gonna use 22 gauge wire. It's like the most, I think the head pins are like 22 or 21 gauges. So that's, that's kind of the thickness. loop coming up and this is pretty close the hole is pretty close to the top so we don't have to make a really huge loop but I do want it to move around and oh we're gonna add these guys so maybe I do want to make it a little bit bigger than I thought we'll go three quarters of the way up on this these round nose pliers see how that does I think that'll work. Before I add this guy, I'm gonna add a couple of these. And you can wire wrap these if you want them to be more secure, obviously. They could come off if you're not careful with your loops. I think it'll be all right. I was thinking like, if they hang like a cluster of grapes, that makes any sense. I hope I made the loop. Now I'm wondering if I made the loop big enough. <laughs> We're about to find out. We might have to do this again. Let's see. But I kind of want them tight in there because, oh, that should work. get in here with something thinner. I've been meaning to get some really thin needle nose pliers. I think Zeron makes some. Okay, we're just gonna do a couple of a couple of wraps. Let me cut this. All right. Now we're gonna add, let's add our really pretty 
cornflower blue bead. And I want this to hang, this is gonna be sideways, gonna hang like this. So I'm gonna make my loop going this way. So I'm gonna do that right now. And I'm gonna go ahead and close it. Let me just make sure this is gonna fit through here. Yep. All right. Really, we could have added another bead, maybe a bigger bead, but we're gonna go with this. I love how those little dangles pick up the colors in that drop. All right. So that's piece one. Now we're gonna get, I think it'd be fun to use this um, tanzanite color, soft flex. You know what I need? I need some crimps. And I'm not gonna worry about the color because I am gonna use a crimp cover. I'm pretty sure I have gold crimps somewhere, but I don't know how many of those I'm gonna need, but we'll just pull a bunch. So now we need to think about how long, let me slide this through here and see. That's gonna take up Look how nicely that soft flex goes through there. That's too fun. Let's see. I had this idea in my head. So, you know, we're trying, ooh, that's cool. The question is, is this gonna be a pain to wear because it's sliding? I'm trying to think if gravity's gonna, maybe if we put some beads right on the ends there. All right, so let me cut some of this. That just went flying. Oh my gosh. All right. Take two. How long is this? I think this this should work. Let me just see how long a piece I'm using here in case anybody wants to try this. A little over eight inches. That's going to be plenty. I probably don't need that much, but... All right. So... slide this through here oh so maybe we should put the beads let me grab two of these let me grab another one of these nope we're gonna go this way a bead a bead let me think this is gonna go this way this way and then our noodle and then our drop Okay, 
I think it might be working. Cross your fingers. <laughs> hmm. So that's kind of what I'm afraid of is that well, let's get the rest of the beads on here before I will get worried because I'm trying to use gravity as the center point, but I don't know if with this twisted. If you're wearing the earring, it's going to be hanging like this. The other option is to make loops on either end. I might do that instead. Let's try that. So. We're going to need a crimp bead. I'm just wanting it to hang right. That's why I'm trying this way. So. I'm just going to make a really small loop. I think I want to make it smaller. See that? Uh, but I don't think I'm going to be able to slide this in. Let me see. Oh, I might be able to. Okay. All right. So this little noodle thing will let you do a couple of... So here's my little loop out of the soft flex. That's kind of cute. Let's see what the... Let's see how this works. I just want it to hang right. That's really my my thought process with this. And I probably should have gotten gold. Let's see how that's going to look. I think, though, the gold bead caps will kind of blend in with our little noodle. I think I want to do one side and then the other. Oh, I'm going to cut one of these too. I just didn't want to run out. We could probably use this scrap for something else. Need another crimp bead. I want the loops to be going in the same direction. Come on, you went in there before. You may hear thunder. I think we're supposed to get storms again. Actually, I think that was somebody's stereo in their car. <laughs> We have the high schools nearby also, and so those kids, you know, 
I remember I did it too, playing their music that could wake the dead loud as possible. <laughs> All right, well, I'm not gonna worry about getting it sliding back in the noodle. I'm just gonna... My main concern is that they are in the same direction. So that looks like pretty much the same direction. We'll trim real close. This should fit through here. Oh, well, let me trim it first. I love to experiment with this Softlex. Before I put the bead cap on it, I mean the crimp cover. I don't know why I keep trying to call that bead caps. I did that the other night too. <laughs> okay, so let me slide this on. I think that's going to work better. It's still going to slide, but I, I think it's going to work better. Let me put another bead cap on. Bead cap. Crimp cover. Marcy. <laughs> uh, let's just rename these bead caps. <laughs> I think that's what we're going to have to do going forward. But you guys know what I'm talking about, even if I say the wrong word. It's just because I'm tired. I always keep telling myself I should make my videos on the weekend so that I am ahead of the game. I never quite managed. Like, there's so much I got to do on the weekends around here that uh, I have good intentions. We know all about good intentions, don't we? <laughs> okay. This is turning into quite the project. I didn't think this was going to take so long, but I don't think the one we're doing next is going to take this long. Okay. So we got little loops. We have our dangle. And now, let's see. Let's take some more soft flex. Or maybe we should just do a wire. Yeah, let's do that. That will control the trajectory, I think. The angle trajectory. I kind of want it to be like a teepee. I think that'll work better. But hey. It may not. <laughs> okay, so let's do wire wrap loops. Let me straighten this out a little. Okay. Nothing like a good course of jewelry engineering to wake you up, huh? Hey, but if I try it, then, and it works, then before you make it, you know it works. So, hey. So, I'm going to wire wrap that. Let's 
do the other side. I will do the mate, the mate off camera so we can get straight into the next project. the colored loops with the softlex. That's cute. I think we're going to use the other color softlex for the next project. Okay. that's a little bent. Kind of like a little swing set for our beads. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Alright, so now we want to add green bead, one of these, one of these, and another. And I want my uh, loops to go in the same direction. For now. Boy, these are really soft head pins. Did I use head pins? No, I used the 22 gauge. Silly me. Yes, it's not the head pins. Sometimes the head pins can be a little hard to deal with when you're trying to do stuff like this. They can be harder on your fingers. The 22 gauge seems to be my sweet spot when it comes to stuff like this. I know we all, I, I don't know about you, but I always have gauges that I always kind of go to when I'm making stuff. Do you, do you do the same thing? Let me know in the comments. I'm curious. Just trying to get that one little piece. There we go. Now let's see, I don't want this to be bent. Okay. So I'm gonna be doing something like this. Let me do this other side. Some chain would be pretty here too. Instead of a, a head pin, you could do chain. All right, and we want this loop to go in the same direction as the one below it. Little, last little piece will stab you. Be careful. <laughs> oh, today I dropped my X-Acto knife and I bent to pick it up and I thought I was picking up the right end. 
Oh, jab. That'll wake you up. I don't recommend that. Okay. Let me just lay this down for a minute. What do we think? Keep going? Let's keep going. Except for this top loop, I am going to use a stiffer. I'm going to use a bigger, a big, a long head pin, I should say. Actually, that feels thinner than the wire. I think we better just stick to the wire. Does it? They're darn near similar. That one feels, okay, that one feels a little, a little more substantial. Since this is like the piece that's gonna hang from the air wire, I just wanna, something a little bit. So here there's some options. I'm gonna make a big loop. I'm gonna go Again, like three quarters of the way. And let's see. I'm adding this. You could do a drop in the middle too, if you wanted if you decide to make this design. It's kind of different looking. <laughs> Those noodles things intrigued me. I just had to use them. Thank you, Stella, for putting them in the box because I always love to try new things expand my horizons a little. Okay. So the rest of this is going to be a walk in the park, I think. But I do like the way that looks. Okay, so we're going to do a large bead cap. And then we're going to do this beautiful, I think it was Jasper. Beautiful color. Love it. Then we'll do the tiny bead cap at the top and I'm going to use some French ear wires like I always do I got this little kit on Amazon it's pretty great it has the little stoppers and you get brass I think this is some rose gold silver and uh, gold and it comes in a nice little case. And when you're done with it, you can put beads in there. Whoops. If I can find that link, I'll put it in my description tonight. For those of you that want to get a little kit like that. Okay. Now we're going to go sideways with this loop again because our ear wire is going to go this way. But I think I will make it smaller than the one at the bottom. Okay. And of course, you can add beads, take away beads. You know, you know, the leaf would be pretty hanging here with some dangles. Those green leaves, these guys, those would be pretty as well. Okay, you got a lot of options because anything pretty much could work. If you didn't get the kit, but you have some, you know, leaves and things like that, or even just the drop, you know, in that shape, you can do this. All right. I love to make long earrings. I don't know, not, that's not everybody's 
cup of tea, but I love them when they swing around. <laughs> okay. That turned out pretty cool. I love the little loops of the Sufflex. It adds just a little touch of color. It picks up this pretty color in the beads. That's kind of fun that this slides around. Um, but it's not going to come off because of the, you know, the crimp covers. And I would have done Sufflex up the side, but I think probably the wire is better. Some chain would be nice too. I wouldn't mind seeing some chain. But that is our earring, the one earring. I'll do the other one, like I said, off camera so we can get to our other project. Yeah. What do you think? Let me hold it up and get a better look at it. Very fun. I think these would be very fun to wear. And they're not heavy. I know it looks like a lot, but this piece is very light. And even these um, rondelles are not. The only heavy bead is the gemstone, which is close to your, close to the ear. So I think it'll be fine. All right. I kind of like the way that turned out. Wasn't sure if it was gonna or not, but <laughs> there are a myriad of ways to maybe adjust that. All right, so the other thing I wanted to do tonight, the thing that I was mentioning, um, is playing with some hair sticks. I found these on Amazon. Uh, I did look, I bought these a while back, but um, I bought some, I have some other ones on order. Um, I love these. If you like to wear a messy bun, if you know somebody that likes to wear a messy bun, um, these are cool. And like, I was thinking, I don't know if I'm going to do it or not, but you could put a bead in the center there, uh, which is something I thought about. And then you can do, you can hang, I'm going to do like a, a set of beads hanging down. I hadn't decided which one I wanted to use. I think I like this one. This one's cool too. I may try that bead in the center uh, off camera and I'll, if I do that, I'll definitely show you. And if you're part of my Facebook group, I'll probably post that. So I thought just doing a nice string. Let's see, we've got our, uh, I do want to know, do another dangle, but I want to do a leaf this time. And I want to use the seed beads I'm gonna pull some of those out. I cannot believe how well they match with this bead. <laughs> it's wild. But maybe we'll do play with the um, the porcelain beads. They're so pretty, and I love this cranberry color. And I, you know, I don't want to do tons. You're gonna to see the string. We have bead caps we can put around that. This is a great place to use uh, the other bead caps. What do we do with those? Oh yeah, here they are. Because you don't need to make sets. So let's see, do we want to do this bead in the bead cap? I think so. So uh, yeah, I just thought we would do this and then the loop will have the seed beads and maybe we'll do a few. Uh, you know what? I want to do a green bead, darker green bead too. Cause that picks up the dark green. Yeah, so let's do that. All right, so you will see some of this stuff. Like, I thought it'd be pretty with the wood and also with the brass, since this is a brass, antique brass color. This is the medium uh, Softflex. And I really, again, love the Softflex, of course. So then the other decision is how long do we want to make this? So I think, uh, I'm gonna want to make a loop. I 
think such a six inches, but I'm gonna cut eight so I have extra um, for loop making. Okay. And if you had a two hole bead or something, I was thinking something Let's see. Oh, maybe we could do one of these guys. That would be cool. Just so you have a little bit of sparkle. You could also use some metallic paints and put some designs. That would also be cool. So, maybe I should have cut a longer piece than this. I think I'm going to do 10 inches. We'll hang on to this. But I love these hair sticks. Um, I start my day with my hair down and then by the end of the day, it's bugging me and I want it up. And especially as hot as it's been this summer. And you know, if you're going out for an evening, you know, then you've got like jewelry for your hair. Isn't that special? And then they come in all different kinds, these uh, hair sticks. But I literally put hair, wooden hair sticks in my search in Amazon and found a bunch of stuff came up. All right, so this is longer, 10, 10 inches or so. And I'm just gonna string this through here. This is new to me too. This is a night for new stuff, new techniques, new things. Pop that back here. All right. And I'm just gonna put a crimp, a crimp bead. You could probably, if you're using hemp, you could do it like a macrame. That would be pretty too. Um, then you could probably tie knots, but I'm gonna Just gonna use a crimp. All right. And I just don't want those beads. They'll probably float a little, but that's okay. You could use the magical crimper here too. Oh, I totally messed that up. Oh well. Let me. There we go. And you can use a crimp cover if you want, or the magical crimping tool from Softflex. Okay. Now, I'm gonna string these. And these are gonna kind of float. They're gonna come, you know, when you're wearing this, Gravity will um, pull them down to the end. I'll hold it up when I get everything secured. But I thought this would be neat. Oops, I wanted to do a bead cap. Oh no, that's right. Bead cap around the porcelain bead. These are so pretty. Let me see, I think I want to pick this one. There we go. This 
this make a nice gift? You know, holidays are right around the corner. Okay. I'm going to make a loop with these pretty seed beads. Let's see, I'm going to string maybe 15 or 18 of them. I'm going to slide these down just for now. Just to get them out of the way while I'm stringing. You guys, we made the coolest uh, pendant in summer camp, Jesse James Bead's summer camp, that Meredith Roddy taught. It's a arrow pendant with um, Miyuki Delicas. I will show that to you in a future video because I am still working on a few of my projects. Uh, I have about, I'm almost done. I would say I'm 90% done. Um, and man, that pendant was fun. I can't wait to make it in other colors. And I, you know, I never considered myself a seed beater, but between Meredith and, um, Danielle Wicks and Jill Wiseman, I'm starting to become a seed beater because <laughs> they're just such good teachers. Uh, they make it, I, I always got confused trying to learn it myself, but they are just really good at teaching those classes. All right, so I'm just gonna make the loop down here We're gonna hang the leaf from this. But I thought having a little extra, you know, a little extra stuff, sparkle and color would be nice. All right, I'm gonna trim that. And I think on the end of that, I will use a crimp cover. I think I'm gonna use one of these really pretty, I have some that have kind of a fluting, a fluty detail. And uh, I think they would be pretty with the leaf. It's gonna pick up that gold in the leaf. So it's gonna be really, really decorative, I think. If I can get, sometimes they are kissing cousins, as you can see. There we go. Kissing cousins. <laughs> All right, so now, see this one's much faster than the earring. <laughs> Even I've never done it before. And um, I think silk would be pretty too. You could do leather, you could do like a tassel, just a tassel would be fun. Um, somebody makes these. I can't think of who. One of the JJB design ambassadors uh, that's in design does that. She makes these hair sticks too, I think. I'm all thumbs tonight, guys. Here we go. All right. Hey, come back here. Talking to your crimp covers is allowed. Whatever you have to do to coax them in the right spot. <laughs> and if that means talking to them, you just show them who's boss. All right, so now we have this pretty leaf. And maybe we wanna do Be a little something on top of it. Maybe we should pick up another cranberry color. Yeah, let's do that. So we're gonna take our 22 gauge wire.
cut a piece. Okay. This loop is going to be pretty big because it's going to go around these seed beads. I'm sorry, I mean the leaf. <laughs> it will go around the seed beads ultimately, but I'm going to get the leaf on here first. may not have made that big enough. We're about to find out. No, I want to make it bigger. I think I'll, I think I'll start over. I'll straighten that sucker out later. So I just heard Cha Cha get up because my mom went into the kitchen. Every time you go into the kitchen, they think, oh, I'm going to get something. Because, you know, I'm I'm a terrible mama and I spoil them. <laughs> just, I'm not the only one, though. Yes. Yes, Grandma has spoiled them, too. Quite a bit, I might add. And there go my pliers. <laughs> All right. Big, big loop this time. The biggest I can make with those pliers. This is going to be better. Come on. There we go. It needed to be a little bigger, but that's all right. I'm okay with it. The whole string is going to move, so if this little leaf doesn't move as much. I mean, it moves a little. That's okay. You could use some big bale making pliers too. I have my, I have them somewhere. If I were to make any more of these, that's probably what I'll do. You can get a bigger loop with those, I think. Okay, let's add our really pretty, this is a gorgeous color. I don't know what you call that. It's not fuchsia, it's not red. And then it's got an AB finish. Really gorgeous. All right. We are in the home stretch. You could do jump ring too. There's many ways to attach things, of course. You pick what is comfortable for you and the, that you like the look of. Alrighty. We're gonna wrap this. I'm gonna make some of these for my mom because she loves to wear her hair up. She's got this white, her hair is snow white. It is gorgeous. And anything bejeweled would look gorgeous in it. So that might be a gift idea. Her birthday's coming up. All right, so let's see here. So here's the front. And we attached it in the back. I'll probably put a, I will probably put a crimp cover on that. And then here is our, so when you're wearing this, you know, it hangs. You got your bun here, and then this hangs. Isn't that pretty?
and you could do big jump ring maybe up here too. You could actually wire wrap too. I didn't think about that, but you could do some wire wrapping. You could jewel this whole end. Boy, that's an idea. I have to try that. So these are kind of fun to play with. And they're not that expensive. You can get more than one. I want to say it was 10 or $12 and I got about seven of them. In all different, uh, each of them had a different shape. So check out Amazon. Just put in hair, wooden hair sticks and you will find a bunch. All right, so here is our beautiful hair piece. And our very elaborate engineered trapeze <laughs> earring. And uh, yeah, I'm glad uh, I'm glad these turned out. I wasn't sure on the earring, especially how that was going to work. But hey, we worked through it. Give it a try. I just thought it'd be cool to play with these these noodley things. And then, of course, I wanted to. Play, I've been wanting to play with these for a while. Uh, also, you could do pretty bookmark. I'm gonna, I'm going to try to get some more ribbon. I don't know if you all saw my bookmark that I made. I'll have to show you if, if I... Probably on another video, though. But anyway, thanks for watching tonight. I really appreciate it. Thank you for subscribing and liking. And do let me know how you like this project in the comments. Uh, I do have also Bargain Beadbox video coming up. I know everybody was baffled with what to do with those stones. Um, and what colors to add. So some color theory coming your way in a few days. And uh, again, I have other boxes to work on. So lots coming your way. And if you haven't joined the Facebook group, Marcy Creates, please do join us. We'd love to have you. And with that, I'm going to tell you good evening. Have a great night or morning or whenever it is you're watching this. Stay safe and take care of yourselves and your families. And I will see you on the next video.